Do you know how long you were expected to live the year you were born? It's a question that might catch you off guard, but it's one that's steeped in years of scientific study and societal evolution. Life expectancy, the average length of time a person is predicted to live, is a key indicator of a nation's health and well-being. It's calculated by analyzing a variety of factors including age, gender, health, lifestyle, and even the time period in which you were born. Think of it as a snapshot of society's overall health at any given point in time. The fascinating thing about life expectancy is that it's not stagnant, but a dynamic figure that changes and evolves with advancements in medicine, technology, and societal norms. So, have you ever wondered how long you were expected to live based on the year you were born? Stay tuned as we unravel the fascinating journey of life expectancy over the years. Believe me when I say the answer is right under our noses in plain sight. Did you know the answer? Imagine you were born in the year 1900. What do you think your life expectancy was? Now let's take a stroll down memory lane to the dawn of the 20th century. Life back then was vastly different from what we're accustomed to today. The average life expectancy for someone born in the year 1900 was a mere 47 years. Yes, you heard right, 47. This relatively low life expectancy was influenced by a myriad of factors. One of the most significant was disease. Infectious diseases such as tuberculosis, pneumonia, and influenza were rampant, and with no antibiotics or vaccinations, these illnesses often proved fatal. Adding to this, living conditions were far from ideal. Many people lived in crowded, unsanitary conditions, which facilitated the spread of disease. Access to clean water was not a given, and malnutrition was widespread, further weakening immune systems. War was another critical factor affecting life expectancy. The early 20th century saw the outbreak of the devastating World War I, where millions lost their lives, significantly lowering the average lifespan. Healthcare was in its infancy with rudimentary practices and limited knowledge, which meant that simple infections could turn deadly, and childbirth was a high-risk event. In addition to these physical challenges, mental health was also a significant concern. With little understanding or acknowledgement of mental health issues, many suffered in silence, further impacting overall life expectancy. However, as grim as this picture might seem, it's important to remember that these are averages. Many people lived well beyond their 40s and 50s, especially if they were lucky enough to avoid disease, have access to better living conditions, or simply have good genes. As we move through the century, we start to see improvements. Advancements in medical science, improved living conditions, and better understanding of diseases and mental health began to significantly increase life expectancy. By the time we reached mid-century, things began to change dramatically. Life expectancy started to rise, ushering in a new era of longevity. But that's a story for our next scene. Stay tuned. Fast forward to the 1950s. Life expectancy had a significant leap. During this decade, a cocktail of factors came together to push the boundaries of human longevity like never before. The most influential among these was undoubtedly the advancements in medical science. The discoveries of antibiotics like penicillin and streptomycin, and the development of vaccines for diseases like polio and tuberculosis, drastically reduced the mortality rate. People were no longer falling prey to infectious diseases that once claimed countless lives. Concurrently, there was a better understanding of nutrition. The importance of a balanced diet rich in vitamins and minerals became more widely recognized. This realization led to an increased focus on agricultural advancements, ensuring more people had access to a variety of foods. The availability of fortified foods and the introduction of dietary guidelines further contributed to improved health and consequently longer lives. And let's not forget about the improved living conditions. The post-war economic boom led to an increase in the standard of living. More homes had access to clean water and sanitation facilities, reducing the risk of waterborne diseases. The workplace also underwent changes, with the implementation of safety regulations reducing occupational hazards. The impact of education cannot be downplayed either. With more children staying in school for longer, there was a better understanding of health and hygiene practices. This knowledge was then passed on to the next generations, creating a ripple effect of improved health and increased life expectancy. So, as you can see, the rise in life expectancy during the 1950s was no accident. It was the result of concerted efforts in various fields, all geared towards improving the quality of life. 
Each step forward, whether big or small, contributed to this increase, painting a picture of progress and hope for the future. But the journey of life expectancy doesn't stop there. As we move forward, each decade brings its own challenges and triumphs, shaping the narrative of human longevity in its unique way. Tune in as we delve deeper into this fascinating journey in our next scene. Enter the 21st century. Life expectancy has reached new heights. In the blink of an eye, we've leaped from an average lifespan of just over 30 at the beginning of the 20th century to a global average of about 72 years today. A staggering increase, isn't it? This monumental rise can be attributed to a myriad of factors, all interwoven in the complex tapestry of human progress. At the forefront, we have the continued advancements in medicine. From the discovery of antibiotics to the development of vaccines and cutting-edge surgical techniques, medical science has been our steadfast ally in the fight against disease and death. Then there's the improvement in living conditions. Clean water, sanitary living spaces, and access to nutritious food. These are no longer luxuries but necessities for a large part of the world's population. We've built societies where the basic needs of individuals are increasingly being met, and this has played a significant role in pushing the boundaries of our lifespans. Let's not forget the lifestyle changes either. More of us are choosing to live healthier lives, exercising regularly, and making conscious dietary choices. We're understanding the impact of mental health and taking steps to manage stress. In essence, we're taking ownership of our well-being, and this too has added years to our lives. But with this progress, there's also been a shift in the types of diseases we face. Chronic illnesses like heart disease, cancer, and diabetes are now leading causes of death, replacing infectious diseases that were once the primary threats. Despite these improvements, recent years have seen some troubling trends. The life expectancy in some developed countries, including the United States, has begun to dip. The reasons are complex and many-fold, from increasing rates of drug overdoses to the impact of the recent pandemic. It's a reminder that while we've come a long way, the journey to prolonging human life is far from over. We must continue to innovate, to adapt, and above all, to care for one another. Only then can we hope to push life expectancy to new, unimaginable heights. The year 2021 marked a decrease in life expectancy, the first in many years. This was a significant shift from the steady increase we've seen in the past. The dip in this trend was largely due to the global pandemic, which took a devastating toll on lives worldwide, particularly in the United States. In the US, the average life expectancy dropped by over seven months, hitting a low point of 76.4 years, a number not seen since the turn of the century. The pandemic wasn't the only culprit, though. An alarming rise in drug overdoses also contributed to this decline. In 2021 alone, the pandemic claimed nearly 417,000 lives, surpassing the death toll of the previous year and becoming the third leading cause of death for the second year running. But what does this mean for the future? Are we looking at a gloomy forecast? Not necessarily. While these factors have indeed impacted life expectancy in the short term, they don't necessarily predict a permanent downward trend. Experts believe that the decrease in life expectancy might be temporary, contingent on our ability to control the pandemic and address other health crises. In fact, advancements in healthcare and technology might just tip the scales back in our favor, with the rapid development of vaccines, improved treatments, and a greater emphasis on preventative health care, the future could see us bouncing back stronger. Yet, it's important to remember that we all have a role to play in this. Our individual choices, from the food we eat to how much we exercise, can significantly impact our health and, by extension, our life expectancy. As we move forward, it's crucial to understand these trends and make informed decisions about our health and lifestyle. After all, life expectancy isn't just a statistic, it's an indicator of our collective health and well-being, and that's something we all have a stake in. Life expectancy is more than just a number, it's a reflection of our society's health and wellness. We've journeyed through time, understanding how life expectancy has evolved. From the early days when it was a mere 20 to 30 years, to the rise in the early 20th century due to medical advancements, and finally to the modern era, where it reaches well into the 70s and 80s. We've seen how factors such as disease, lifestyle and socioeconomic conditions influence these numbers. We've also acknowledged the recent trends, with life expectancy dipping due to causes like drug overdoses and pandemics, reminding us of the persistent challenges we face. 
Understanding life expectancy is crucial as it impacts our individual and collective health decisions. It's a stark reminder of our mortality, yet also a beacon of hope, showing us the potential of human resilience and innovation. Remember, life expectancy might tell us how long we're expected to live but it's up to us to make those years count. So I leave you with this. Psalm 90, 10, 12, KJV. The days of our years are threescore years and ten, and if by reason of strength they be fourscore years, yet is their strength labor and sorrow, for it is soon cut off, and we fly away. Who knoweth the power of thine anger? Even according to thy fear, so is thy wrath. So teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom.